Well, New York Fashion Week kicked off today, an exciting time for the industry as in-person live shows return to the runway. CBS 2's Cindy Shu shows us how the fashion industry puts its best foot forward to boost the city's economy. When you think Fashion Week, it's often designers and models who come to mind. But the industry is the lifeline for countless people and careers. New York Fashion Week, the shows, really drives an, uh, a boom for the city this week, economically. Hotels to Ubers and everything else that's going on in the city. More than 135 designers are taking part in Fashion Week. And COVID protocols are in place, from having to be double vaccinated to being encouraged to wear a mask indoors. Most of the shows will be at Spring Studios in Tribeca, but many are showing at different venues throughout the city. Organizers say this is the most diverse calendar of designers they've ever had. We've got uh, a lot of uh, young black designers selling with us, designers from different races and backgrounds, and the more that we can represent culture on the runway, the stronger we will be as a country. Sergio Hudson has designed for everyone from J-Lo to Michelle Obama and Vice President Kamala Harris. He says he's thrilled so many shows are back in person, so he made the trip from L.A. We're just trying to invigorate the fashion community and continue to keep it going. For Parsons student Gabrielle Hall, this is her first time at Fashion Week, where she's working as a production assistant. She tells me her dream is to become a fashion trend forecaster. So what's in and out this season? The chunky shoes are a big trend that I'm about to hop on because my feet hurt from walking <laughs> around. Um, I think that ripped jeans are out, and it's more of um, flare jeans, more professional looking, but also fashionable. Longer pants, trousers are in right now. You can always find out the trends for yourself by watching the Fashion Week shows virtually. In Tribeca, Cindy Shu, CBS2 News. And Fashion Week runs through next Wednesday, February 16th. And to find a link to the shows, you can head over to CBSNewYork.com.